This is the number one skill that you can use to accumulate more crypto. If you've seen on my channel in the past, I've spoke about different accumulation strategies. You can sell your Bitcoin, you can sell your Ethereum, split it into new altcoins and then accumulate more back. You can trade, you can do affiliate marketing, you can do everything. But there's one more skill that I rate a hundred times more than these other skills. That has helped me in the past four years go from a student at Leeds Beckett University when everybody was telling me to get a job, when my dad was even telling me get a trade, learn how to be a plumber or an electrician, and that's gonna keep you safe for the rest of your life. Maybe go to college or university. But those skills are nothing in comparison to this one skill. And I wanna share that with you today. Now, the revelations that I've been through is when I was at school and university, I was always taught to have a trade. Right, and by learning a trade that's going to keep you secure compared to having a job for example where you can lose that job and then you have to go and apply for a new job having a trade was different for example a plumber an electrician even a barber a builder for example that's a skill that takes years to learn and once you master that craft you're always going to have access to it but right, if you get kicked off a building site great you can go to the next you know person who's doing building and you can go in there Right? At one stage, I was even doing shop fit. And guess what? If the contractor that said, you know, I haven't got any work right now, you can go to another contractor and they'll have work to do. And they'll pay you a similar wage, a day rate. You go, you get your money, you go home. Right? It's a great trade. But what we've seen is that we're in a new age, a new era. And in this era, you don't need to have a trade manually. You can have an online trade, an online skill. And yes, it takes the same amount of time. It takes the same amount of discipline. It takes the same amount of mistakes. But the difference is, is that because it's online, there's unlimited scale. Whereas when I was learning these skills and I was learning how to, you know, for example, be a builder, right? Or learning how to shop fit, for example, or even learning a skill when I was playing rugby. You know, to learn those skills, I get paid by the hour. I have to turn up, do the work on the hour, and then I go home and that's it. I can't work 24 hours a day. There's a limit to how many hours I can work. If I'm getting paid $80 a day, I'm doing five hours a week. I'm getting paid $400 a week, for example. Great, but I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I've got a limit to how much I can do. I can only work so many hours in a day. Whereas when I started to learn about online skills, I realized there's no limit to how much hours I can do, especially with AI, I can set up bots to do my work for me. I can hire employees around the world. I can pay somebody $5 an hour to do the same work that I'm getting paid $10 an hour, right? I can also get unlimited learning as well. I can do my work in the daytime. I can come home, I can watch YouTube videos and learn more about my skill, about my craft. And not only that, I can get paid not $80 an hour, but $800 an hour. $400 a week, but $4,000 a week, right? And these skills, these assets is exactly the same. It takes the same amount of effort, the same amount of discipline. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter, you know, your, your skills and your abilities. Like to be a builder, you need a certain level of base strength. To do online skills, this skill in particular, that I'm gonna show you in this video, you don't need any skills to do so. You don't even need any education. You don't even need to be smart, intelligent. Like people think they need to be laptop savvy and computer savvy to do these things, or they need to be uh, confident to do these things. No, if you look at some of my older videos, I was definitely not too confident. I was definitely not too skilled. My grades were all subpar for everything. I got kicked out of university because I couldn't even, you know, spell correctly. But I didn't have the right grammar. You guys watch my YouTube video, you see sometimes I just make up words. <laughs> and that's fine. You don't need these things to learn this skill. And this skill is freelancing. Now you guys might have heard me speak about this in the past, but what freelancing is, is it is working online for any type of trade. These trades can be tutoring. These trades can be sales. It can be data entry. It can be affiliate marketing. It can be any type of freelancing skill out there. I've even seen people do translating. Right? You might be bilingual, you might speak five different languages. Your parents might speak a different language to what you speak. That is an asset which you can use for freelancing and you can leverage that to accumulate more crypto, which is the reason why you probably watch this channel. If you wanna learn more about freelancing, what I like to do, especially if you're somebody with no baseline skills, which I started out with, just go on Google and search the best, highest paid 
freelancing skills. The highest paid freelancing skill for 2024, number one, is digital marketing consultant. Number two is AI. Number three, cybersecurity. Number four is SEO. Number five is data science. Number six is online tutor. Number seven is blockchain developer. Interesting. Number eight is UX design. Number nine is content strategist. And number 10 is social media. All of these skills, you don't need a baseline knowledge. You can learn all of these skills on YouTube. If you want to learn how to be a digital marketer, then go ahead and check out some of my old videos or maybe even check out my business partner's channel, Ryan Ramshaw, where you can learn more about digital marketing. This channel, I have a free course on there, which shows you step-by-step -step how to be a digital marketer. Or you can also learn the number 10 best highest paid freelancer job of how to be a social media marketer, right? Other skills, like a blockchain developer. You can learn blockchain developing on YouTube, right? Ivan on Tech has a community where he teaches you, like a, a school, how to become a blockchain dev. Not by having to code manually, but by using things, which is like a similar version to Shopify, to create these apps. You can create a meme coin in these things in 20 minutes. All of these skills you can learn, but the thing is, is that we're not taught in school, college, university, that these are skills and assets. We have to go to university and get a fake degree on a piece of paper, which tells you that you are qualified to do something. That just gives you like false confidence. Like, because most of the time when you go and get a job, what do they say? How much experience have you got? And you're like, oh, I've got none, I've got a degree. Well, like, we've got 500 other people lined up from all around the world with better high quality degrees than you have. So what makes you more qualified? Um, experience, but you don't have any experience. That's the difference, right? With these skills, they allow you to get paid for your experience because the funny thing is, is with freelancing, especially if you're using websites like Upwork, you can grade your level of experience. You can say, I'm a beginner. I'm going to work for a lower salary, right? You would do that with a plumber. You, with a plumber, you have to have an apprenticeship for how many years, right? To be an electrician, you have to have an apprenticeship for how many years? But, but people don't think, let me just be an apprentice on freelancing work for $7 an hour, $6 an hour, do like three hours a day to build up my experience. And the next thing you know, six months later, you're working for you know, $30 an hour, $50 an hour to do these tasks. Like I've paid graphic designers who are probably using bloody chat GPT in Canva, $200, $300 for a post because I don't have the time to do so, but I understand the level of experience and skill set, and they get the job done, right? And they don't have to be micromanaged. So I can say to them, look, you know, create me this design. Uh, this is what I want it to say. And they're like, okay, done. Here's four different designs. Which ones do you like? I like this one, this one. Change these two things, done. Right, so I'll pay them $300, $400 to do these designs, not because of their skill set, but just because that they're, they're self-working. They have common sense. Common sense is not all that common, right? So you now understand the skills that you can use to accumulate more crypto. Because 99% of people are overexposed to the market right now. They're having to flip their money and flip their money. They're chasing, they're chasing, they're chasing. But all they could really do is invest in themselves, which is the best investment that you can make. Increase the daily amount of money that they make and invest 10 times more. That means that you're not gonna have to worry about selling that altcoin because there's some new coin coming out. You're not gonna have to be stressed and trading on the market to accumulate more USDT. You're not gonna be under pressure. You can sit down comfortably, focus on your day job, focus on increasing your own core skills and get better. And you can accumulate more crypto. When the bear market comes, you're gonna be in the best fucking position. I can't stress this enough. Freelancing has helped me not only with my confidence and my conviction in my investments, but also to survive these bear markets where most people go down and I go up. I live in a crazy, crazy villa. I would, I would take this out and, and show you around, but I, I need to keep the mic with me. I've managed to do this because I'm not under pressure on my investments. When the market is down, I'm not stressed out. I'm buying more, right? I'm, I'm doing more stuff. We've got six different marketing agencies on uh, Upwork, right? I'm sending out like 70 proposals a day, all because that I started small and worked my way up. And I showed you all of that stuff in the, in the free course, which you see, right? But that's it, I don't wanna drag this along. Guys, you now know what you need to do. Go ahead and do it. If you've got any questions whatsoever, I respond to everybody, just comment them down below. And if you wanna learn more about crypto, market cycles, investing, business, finance, ICOs, IDOs, how to stay safe, how to not get scammed, the best places to buy crypto, check out this free course here. Peace.